what's going on you lot? Today we're kicking off quite a big naughty trip. I'm here with my man Mike. Good on, guys. This is the first time that we've ever really linked up so this is going to be a very time. very interesting trip. Very spontaneous. This is the first time I've ever booked a trip with someone that I've never met before so <laughs> we're <laughs> going to get well. It's also really really nice to travel with someone whose work really really inspires me so I think we're going to get on like a house on fire this week. <laughs> Let's create some fire in a bit. Right, so day one here in Morocco. Me and Mike have just got to Marrakesh. And I tell you what, man, this place is crazy. Let's check out and see what this city has to offer. After shooting just a few hours in Marrakesh, it became very apparent that the local people were extremely reluctant to having their picture taken. It's almost like the people of Marrakesh were hiding something. When shooting a new location, to capture the emotion and the energy of the people is one of the most important aspects of travel filmmaking. So we decided to search a little deeper into the cracks and the undergrowth of the city to try and uncover a little bit more about the true people of Marrakesh. Right, so we're currently in a place called The Furnace and this is really, really interesting in here. In the undergrowth we managed to expose the real craftsmen and the true cogs that make this city tick. This guy here actually makes shoes with his hands, which is a little bit unique, because I can't remember the last time I made my Nana pair of slippers. Let's get on a macro lens and like, get right close on him, yeah? It was these people that really gave Marrakesh character for us. Surprisingly, in the most darkest shadows of the city is where we actually found the most joy. Oh, thank you. Cool, thank you very much. What's your name? Abdel. Abdel, thank you, Abdel. Got a feeling this won't be my size, but I'll definitely try it on. <laughs> wow, so me and Mike are absolutely loving Marrakesh so far. It's such like a unique city. I think what we're going to try and do is find a way to get up somewhere high, try and get up on a rooftop somewhere and uh, get a much better view up there. All of these buildings are so tall. So yeah, let's get upstairs somewhere. <laughs> right, so we're in one of the main, well, we are in the main square of Marrakesh. I'll tell you what, there is energy here, man. Everyone's trying to get your cash though, but they ain't getting none of my cash, bro. The cash money. Not giving it out today, not feeling very generous. Right, so I haven't actually told you lot yet, but, jeez, but 
I've got the new Crane Plus with me. As we all know, it's got the new POV feature. So yeah, let's check out that new feature and see what it's saying. Hello. Hey. Straight back to school, why not? <laughs> What's everyone's names? Mohammed. 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 Selma. 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 Zuhi. 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 Hadija. Hadija. Selma. 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 So do they, do they know the names of all these characters up here? Yeah. 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 She said they are friends, no? Yes. They're, They're friends. Yeah. She says friends for Yeah. Yes. At home, I really like SpongeBob, yeah. Yeah, SpongeBob, yes. <laughs> SpongeBob is my G. It's very heavy. Yeah. Say hello. Salam. 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 Do you want to have a go? It's very heavy. <laughs> Can I? Oh, they're going to show us in a minute. Very good. Very good. There you go. Very nice. Now that that is what we saw at home. Naughty. Love it. Give me a high five. Ah, smashed it. Good. Bye bye. Shukran. Shukran. Bye bye. Shukran. Bye bye. bye bye. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Oh, it's so good like going into schools and like checking out how like other kids grow up and stuff. Because I feel like especially especially where we are, we're very lucky to have like loads of facilities and stuff like that. And it's really awesome to see how happy the kids are with like a lot less facilities essentially than what we've had so so them centers there like the school are actually supported by travel link so they bring tourists down that can potentially buy some of the garments and whatnot and they help provide facilities and funding and things like that for these kind of centers which is really really awesome and uh, i feel really lucky to actually be able to come and experience this so yeah it's awesome Woo. yo what a beautiful place mate i love getting out of essex and doing a couple of bits so thank god for the f-stop bag mate this is like exactly the kind of environment that I need this bag for. So I don't know what I would do without you. Hassan, James, nice to meet you. Mother. Salam. Oh, the mint tea, Mike. What are we saying? Every day. Every day is a mint tea day around here. Call it Moroccan whiskey. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be changing my style of whiskey at home. But in Morocco, definitely. This is the this is the Moroccan whiskey. Let's give this bread and olive oil a go. Yeah. And then I, I teach you something. Like mm? if this is for everybody. Mm. So when you want to dip your bread, you have to do like this in your side only. I don't, see. Don't, don't go there or here or here. So everyone's got their own part. I've That's got you. Right, yeah. So when we eat from the one big dish, mm. everyone eats on his side. Don't go to your... <laughs> I've got you. It's almost like a pizza. So you have your slice. Yeah, got you. like this exactly. Mm. Right, so we're about to have our first cooking class and um, got to wash the old fingers, cause you know, you never know where these have been, do you? So. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you could have heated the water up, it's a bit chilly. <laughs> 
Oh, here we go. Oh, we're ready for the graph. Yes, you have, right. you have to. Just do it. Do more. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what, I have to give up the day job, haven't I? So yeah, me and Mike have literally just made this bread. I'll tell you what, we've done a horrific job. At exhibit A, yeah, this okay. might be my one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good looking one. It's not very symmetrical though, that's the issue. That That's like lopsided. Oh, here we go, that's how you circulise it. Oh. Look at that. Tell you what, I'm going to start up a new bakery in Brentwood, mate. Oh, there we go, there we go, that's my one. There she is. Oh, a bit of dry skin. Oh, that feels well nice. Here we go. So it turns out that it did actually make the cut. Mate, yeah, it's a little bit burnt, isn't it? But that's how I like them, so yeah. Nice. How's the food, guys? Good. Very yeah? Delicious. Good. Delicious. Maybe give you a pass on this one. Yeah. Perfect. Let's get stuck in. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Sukra. Sukra Hassan. Right, so what an incredible experience that was. We got to eat with uh, Fatima and Hassan, the lovely couple that sorted us out with that gorgeous meal that was made by yours truly, of course. But great experience. And now we're going to head a little bit further up into the mountains to do a couple of bits because that's what we do. Sunset mission. Sunset mission with a professional sunset seeker. So sweet. <laughs> So we've just stopped to look for our sunset spot for the evening and we noticed this artist painting the atlas. So we decided to get the drone out and do some painting ourselves. Three, two, one, go. Just wrapped today, mate, the sun set and it just blew up and we just had a really intense photo session. Drone was up, the stills were blowing and so were the videos, mate. And oh, mate, what a way to end day two in Morocco, Marrakesh, Atlas Mountains. You have been mad. Sick. Any final words from Vij? That, yeah, that was an insane sunset, but let's get it for day three. Let's go.